psyched, excited to try new brushes in uh, Clip Studio out. Uh, let's see how this goes. That was dumb, that was very stupid. Hey, I'm gonna be doing something really stupid today. Uh, today I'll be attempting Ahmed Aldori's 100 head challenge in which I draw 100 heads in 10 days, but I did the math and I'm gonna do all of them in one day, <laughs> today. If I plan on doing this for seven hours with an hour lunch break, uh, each head will take me about three minutes to draw. <laughs> so let's see how that turns out. Also, I do wanna point out that uh, I'm not the first to think this up, uh, Brett Paint uh, beat me to it. Go check out his video. Uh, shout out to how he managed to have time to go to the gym and uh, play some soccer. That's impressive. Uh, it is currently 9.30. I'm psyched, excited to try new brushes in uh, Clip Studio out. Uh, I'll have those linked down uh, below. Uh, let's see how this goes. So I'm not going to show me drawing all 100 heads in this video, but I will be showing them uh, all at the end of the video, so if you'd like to see them, go to this timestamp. Uh, I would like to start off by saying uh, I do not recommend doing this. I was grumpy and lost interest halfway through. <laughs> Although seeing a, a great drawing certainly was helpful every now and then. Uh, past Hector is an idiot and uh, wanted a challenge, and I certainly did challenge myself with this one. Uh, starting out here with some three minute drawings. I was pretty excited to try out some new brushes I got for uh, Clip Studio Paint which is the program I'm using for this challenge. Right here you can see me stepping out of my comfort zone using some brushes uh, I don't normally use. You know, these aren't looking too bad for uh, being the first three warm-up sketches. Going on to our second layer here. Oh man, uh, well here you can see me warming up, <laughs> her left eye is looking a little funky there. Uh, look, not all 100 heads are going to be masterpieces, okay? Especially given only 3 minutes. That's what happens when you condense this challenge down to one day, the quality is going to suffer. Funny enough, I also went back to using the default brushes for a second because <laughs> I wasn't familiar with the new ones. Uh, I probably should have practiced with them before this, but oh well. Here I said enough and gave myself some extra time. Uh, about five minutes per portrait uh, instead of the three that I was doing. You know, it's funny how much uh, just a little extra time can improve your quality. This drawing was initially giving me some trouble. <laughs> I was panicking, but um, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, we got our first baby head of the challenge. And it's a strange expression at that, <laughs> so. This one is pretty, pretty tough, but gotta keep going. Mm, these last three are okay. We really love the first two though. I think right around here is when um, the, my warm up was starting to uh, 
kick in and I was really like just <laughs> the quality was starting to go up significantly if I could get the eyes just right <laughs> that's the other thing too it's like I'm not quite familiar with CSP uh, I mean, at least like not in terms of like shortcuts with like Photoshop and Procreate is so you know if this were real life um, <laughs> the drawings would look uh, a little bit better too because there's no need for like being stumbled with like uh, not knowing the shortcuts and not knowing exactly you know brush dynamics pretty proud of that hand <laughs> you know when you warmed up um, enough uh, you don't really have to like draw any like guiding lines you pretty much are comfortable and familiar and know what um, know what your drawing is gonna look like at the end or at least have like a better idea you know I think at this point I was about 20 heads in, 20 something heads in. So I think that's about <laughs> how long I need to warm up. And I'm just flipping through all the layers I have so far. And it was around this point um, that I found a brush I really liked. I believe it's the Nib Pointed Ink Pen. Very similar to the Procreate Marker Brush. I like that it has a uh, texture to it. That's a good face right there. Oh man, that face on the top right is looking a little rough. Another baby face. You gotta practice strong babies. Oh, couldn't finish that one. I uh, spent too much time dilly-dallying. Eh, no matter. Gotta keep going. Got a hundred to draw anyways. Mm, how far am I here? I think I'm in, yeah, like the 40s. I think I finished 35 heads, so this is head 36. Don't know if these are the 5 minute heads or 3 I think I went back to 3 minutes for these. Yeah, I'd say like 90% of the heads I drew that day were uh, 3 minutes each. Only had like about two layers of like five minute heads. I started getting impatient. <laughs> I wanted to just be done with it. I probably shouldn't have spent time drawing the hands first. He's supposed to be <laughs> I'm supposed to be drawing heads right now. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I wanted to mix it up or something.
And here I decided to start rendering out the faces a bit. Uh, gotta learn how to make some quick keyboard shortcuts in CSP. I was pressing the Photoshop shortcuts and, <laughs> you know, obviously they're not quite the same. I believe this is right after I took my lunch break. You can see the detail, like, <laughs> when you get a little bit of rest, you know, what that does to you. Coming up on the halfway point here. And we got our third baby face in. This one's looking the best out of all of them so far. This is around the time I started um, using the smudge tool, the blur tool, whatever it is. And it came in clutch. I think this is like head 54. I'm just breezing through them at this point. Some of these heads, I don't know, they kind of look almost like caricatures, or maybe that's just my style bleeding through. They don't look bad, it's just, um, I guess realism is not really the point of this exercise. I don't, I don't really know what the point of this exercise <laughs> going in was, because <laughs> like, I, I'm, I already feel pretty like confident in my like portraiture skills, it's just, I don't know, I guess I wanted to challenge myself. It's never bad to practice, you know? An important tip if you're drawing someone's smile, always draw the black uh, triangles in the corners of the mouth, otherwise it'll look freaky. Oh yeah, some of these portraits are celebrities. <laughs> Don't really look anything like him though. Oh wow, I think those were all five minutes. Alright, yeah, I guess I'm going to three minutes now.
I like those last two ones I did. Those are pretty cool. All right, we're in the 60s now. This is a uh, 60, head 66. Because each layer is five heads. Got some interesting perspective, an upshot on that one. This one's cool, I like this one. Quality's looking good on um, these last couple heads, it's got last couple layers. Um, I felt like <laughs> once I was like in the, the stretch, like I had like five heads left that the quality just tanked because <laughs> I was just, I wanted to be done with it. <laughs> We got Sir Ian McKellen here. This one turned out pretty good. I like this one. Not all the celebrities <laughs> I did justice to, though. <laughs> I think The Rock was in there. Will Smith. Theirs looked a little rough. Morgan Freeman looks kind of. It looks kind of like him. I don't know. Can you tell it's Morgan Freeman? This guy looking. Sussy here with like the snake eyes. Coming up on the last five heads here. Overall, I'd say the quality of the art is like a bell curve, in which my best work occurred somewhere around the halfway point. Uh, I needed some time in the beginning to warm up and pick out my brushes and familiarize myself with some new keyboard shortcuts. And in the end, I decided to tire, you know, and in the end, I started to really tire myself out. My back was hurting, I was getting pretty hungry and irritable. Some uh, lessons learned. Quality needs time. Don't draw a hundred heads in one day. <laughs> um, you know, getting perfect at a craft takes patience, and you can try and rush it, but that'll cause some sacrifices, including your health and the art itself, really. But that'll conclude that. Um, here's a slideshow of all hundred heads. Obviously, I couldn't, you know, <laughs> show me drawing all hundred of them 
Well, I could, but you couldn't really see me working on each one. It'd be so fast, you know, you just blink and then they'd be gone. Got a couple celebrities in here. I think that guy was from BTS. Uh, I believe that's Socrates. Got a couple celebrities at the end too. You know, it was Will Smith, The Rock. <laughs> oh god, they look so rough. But yeah, I mean, like, I'd say the quality was not bad in most of these. You know, there was a couple that were a little shoddy. Okay, uh, it's currently the next day, 11.30, I'm editing the video right now. That was dumb, that was very stupid. I'm never gonna do this again. If I am, um, I'll probably not do it all in one day. I think that's a good idea. Um, no, but <laughs> uh, it, it was pretty fun for some points of it. You know, I kind of got a little bumpy when I was, you know, just sitting in a hot room and sweaty and tired. Oh my God, like <laughs> I'm supposed to be shooting this part uh, as soon as I finished last night, but I was starving and my eyes were hurting. So <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. Um, now I know why it's spread across 10 days evenly. It's like, it, it, you know, it's interesting. It's like I was back in college um, doing like life drawing classes and you only have like, a minute or two to like draw the model you know and get like the the figure the figure in you know like the basic essence of what you're trying to get um on paper i'm gonna spend uh the next day day and a half not drawing a face so <laughs> looking forward to that thanks for watching <laughs> uh tune in for next time all right see ya bye